Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this is kind of like a WFSO reaction video about the Bucks. Um, there was like a couple of rumors that was out, um, like kind of like around Wednesday, about a couple of trades that they could do. But I just read this, like, I just read this with the Bobby Porter situation. That's where I'm on right now. Like, just say it was posted up like about like five hours ago, but I just now reading it that um he most likely will resign, that Bobby Porter's will resign with the team. But the thing is, is like he's gonna opt out of his current deal from what it's saying, and they're gonna give him like a better, like a multi-year deal, which is good. And the Bucks can't do that because of his um bird rights since they had him for like at least two years. So I'm just going to read what it says on here. So although they're licking their wounds after the title defense came up short in the second round, but they may already be off to a good start when it comes to mounting another push for next season. Banner and Ray Ryder, and also he's with ESPN, Mark Stein, report that interest upon this do not, do not think that they have any chance of going forward Bobby Porter's away from the Bucks. And he added that the expectation that um, the Porters will return to Milwaukee on a multi-year deal. Yeah, he does have a um, 4.5 million player option that he can accept or like, you know, get off. But um, if y'all y'all probably already know like the situation, so it's like it says it seems like most likely he will opt out and will reach like a you know multi-year deal for the Bucks to like get paid more money. So I think they said like he can get like at least maybe like about like I guess they're gonna see if he's gonna get like um they're gonna give him like 10 million a year or then probably would you know increase up it'll probably be like maybe something maybe I'll probably say three or four years um maybe like 44 million or something, 44 or 45 million or something like that for four years. That's just like my guess on that. But I know they can offer them up to like um like 10 million for the bird rights, but it could be more than that. I'm not sure. But um, but if they do get um Bobby Portis out the way, and I know they got a decision until I think it's a I think it's like three weeks away that um they gotta make it this like the um the players that got like team like player options gotta decide like sometime this month. I think it's like a little bit before the draft that they gotta um like decide. But um I think most likely if this is what we're saying is true, that's good news for the Bucks. Um, oh, sorry about that. Hopefully y'all can still hear me. Um, there's like still ways that they can do that they can, um, you know, sign him. And Pat Contents also has a player option too, which I think most likely he'll probably will keep this player option and probably work out with something for them next season. So, so they can probably pay him a little bit more and see what they got. That would probably be something I would, I would say like talk to Pat and if you say like, yes, to his player option, then work out something with him and stuff. It's like Pat Conson's number, like, I think 28, 29. So he still can improve and still got a little time to, you know, maybe adjust more to like his like shooting and defense and stuff like that. So he still got room to improve. So does um Bobby Porter still got room to improve. Although like the regular season, it shows that he was most of the season that he was doing pretty good with his shooting and um defense. But it was just like some. Oh, they finally got a hit.
we were watching the Brewers and Padres game, so Brewers finally got a hit. Um, but uh, anyways, so this is good news, and um, like I said, if like if the Bucks couldn't, you know, afford if Bobby Porter would opt out and wanted like more money, I can understand if like somewhere else, you know, made an offer him more than the Bucks can. I can understand that if he would have took that. So I wouldn't be upset with him doing that or anything. So it was like, plus like, he got a ring already. And you know, maybe like his, like, probably wouldn't do it for the money, but I don't know what he's thinking right now. And just hopefully if these reports are true, that would be like good news for the Bucks for a way for them to start doing stuff in the all season. So um, I'll say like four years, 45 million. Um, if it's 50, that's fine too. Um, probably no more in, you know, in that range. But um, yeah, that's real, um, that's good news. But sorry, enough about that part. Um, the real reason why we was um, doing this video was because of there are scenarios of, um, Maybe the Bucks getting Derrick Rose from the Knicks, make probably making the trade. But the question is, like, who would they trade for to you know to get Derrick Rose? So um, we're gonna do like the um, fanspo.com NBA trade machine here and and see what we can do. With Derrick Rose got left on this contract. Oh, okay, two two more years and fourteen million. So it's like they really got to, you know, do something here if they want to make this trade. Um, the article didn't say, like, any specifics on, like, who they should trade for their roles. But um, let's just say you just trade to the Bucks. And I'm going to do something right quick. Um. Okay, can't do anything, but maybe I can modify his contract. Scan our contract. Let's just say four years. I said no, he wouldn't want to take no minimum with like two million. So, you know, that ain't going to happen. Say one year, 10 million. Nine. Ooh, too far. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eleven. Yeah. Let's just say it's my fourth day is on final season with them. If he's decided, you know, resign that they'll pay him more. Yeah, let's just say 14 million.
But yeah, before that, let's just try to um oh yeah, this is gonna be tough. Like who they're gonna um let's see, let's do his. Let's just let's just say that he has set his oh can't change that. Um Okay, um, yeah, this is not gonna work. So, um, yeah, because there's no way they can get their roles if they wanna, because um, the only option would be they get rid of Brooke Lopez, but then again, they'll be with Papa Center unless they, you know, resign Serge Ibaka and actually, you know, have him in the starting, you know, five or have him like off the bench. Um, let's see, let me think, let me think. Okay, yeah, another person that they, you know, wanted to, you know, go after. Of course, you probably already know it was one of my other, um, on the other video was, um, Miles Turner. So, Let's see if, what they do. They try to get, you know. Change to Pacers. Let's just say they just do a oops, sorry. Not saying that it's gonna happen, but let's just say if they do it that way and Trade them to the next. Um, Let's see. Return George Hill home. Let's see, do, let's try to do a couple of things here. Um,
see, this modifies contracts. Just say you want to. There we go. We can do that. I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's see. Oh, okay. But a teen option I'm not worried about. So we gotta upgrade his um Serge Zabaka's contract. So that's what we gotta do. Okay, so let's see, adjust. Let's see, modify. Let's just say three years and And sorry, it's just kind of taking so slow, so I apologize. Okay. Let's see if that works this time. Yep, that will work. Well, the other trays I just added on there just to like, you know, just to make it work and whatnot. So it don't have to, it don't actually have to add like the couple of guys from the Pacers and a couple of guys from the Knicks to make it work. So like I said, they just added on there, but let's say they did like a three team trade and they get like the backup point guard that they looking for and the stress big that they looking for, but let go of George Hill and Brooke Lopez and do a sign and trade with Serge Ibaka to the Knicks. It could work out. So yeah, that's that. And let's see. It'll be plus seven wins and um, everything increase. Let's see, offense and defense will decrease, but they will have more wins. And Pacers will not be that good. Well, the termination exception, they probably will um, have that, but most likely. That'd be what we're looking at. And let's try and and you know there's times that you know they can put their roles into like the lineup with Drew Holiday. But yeah, it will just from looks of it all work out and Let's see, and like most of this team is gonna like mainly improve. So, no, though from the looks of it, they probably yeah they probably will have 
spots left. And nor like, you know, the roster of the team because they got like, let's see, one, two, They got like at least like two more people that's like with um that'd be like on the free agent app for Pacers. I think they got at least one, two and two restricted free agents. So just ignore the roster numbers for Knicks and Pacers. And most likely that would probably would be one thing that will work for them. And you know that um, we'll see how this works. Um, you know, the draft is on, I think, uh, June 27th. No, I think June 24th or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, let me look at the calendar here. I know today is June 3rd. We'll open up the calendar. Yeah, okay, June 23rd will be the um, draft. So just keep that in mind. And plus, you know, they can, if the Bucks want to, they can trade their 24th pick if they want to, or keep it for, just to see what's, um, what's out there for the um, rookie wise. So they do kind of need to get young and a little bit. So we'll see. Um, Thanks to all the sponsors, Art from the Heart. Um, check them out on Facebook. And also for moving dues, um, need something moving when you're in the Southeast Wisconsin area, 414-807-4299. Again, it's 414-807-4299. And talk to Sean. But guys, thank you all for um, watching. And this... Thank you. <laughs> and we're very close to like 200 subscribers. So that's pretty freaking cool. Cause I know people have been logging in around here lately. So like I said, the more subscribers we get, the more that we can do more stuff on here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, Hopefully we get up to 200, maybe by the end of the month, or maybe we'll have more than that by the end of the month, but we'll see. Thank you guys. Until the next video, have a good one.